Yeah, that's on the A12. Hi, I'm Nigel Dyer, Heritage Service Manager of Akima Roof Tiles. I'm here with Joe. Joe's going to make a handmade tile with us. I Actually, hope so. specifically, it's a peg tile. We'll see how I've got here. It's got wheeled clay. It's um, it's clay that's right. dropped from a pit in Surrey. Okay. Uh, and basically, it's uh, you know, it's a really nice clay. Has it been refined? Is it, is it is. Yeah, we have to process it. You can't yeah. just take clay out the ground oh, okay. and then just. Put into in, an extruder that no. pushes it out as a letter box shape as it is now. Okay. Clay back. You have to process it. Basically, you you stack it up and let, let it breathe. Yep. You think it's been under the ground for millions of years. Mm -hmm. So we bring it out and it's what's called a salary. You let the, oh, okay. the atmosphere get to it, a bit of rain and that. Okay. The next one, two of the diggers actually, they stack it up in the kerf, yep. which is a layer of clay. And they actually run over it as well, compact oh, it. Oh right, and so that, a lot of the hard work's already been done. Yeah, so it, I'm, it I'm doing the easy bit. Yeah, you, you are, but the most crucial bit. Okay. Uh, so we, we, we take it, we, we process it, basically you mix it. Uh, yeah. It's like making a cake. You need the right ingredients, the right temperature, uh, and the right knowledge. And product. you'll get the good yeah. products out. Yeah. Okay. So if you you've got this sand here, this is right. So you, you pick the bat up and then just shake the excess up. Okay, and we recycle all the clay and the sand. And put it in the mould, but face down. Face down. Right? That's it. Yeah. Just throw it in there. Okay. It doesn't fit perfectly, and the idea is you're going to bash it into the corners. So oh, okay. with your hands, just pat it. That's it. That's it. Push it into the corners. Right. Good. And what you're going to do? You're going to take the head and just slam it down. So, and that's it. That'll do. Put it up. Oh, we've got And you're going to get this ball yeah. here. And this ball has got a wire on. Cheese wire, essentially. Yeah. You know, that's not changed traditionally for years. Put it down there, push it down, and drag it towards yourself. So we don't okay. start here. No, you start don't have to start here. up there. Yeah, start okay. there, and then drag it down to yourself. Okay. Just took some of the excess off. That excess, what we do, we recycle it. Throw it in that bag, and we can okay. put it back into the mix. Okay. So put your ball down again. Grab the head in the in the middle there, and then slam it down one-handed. So this has got to be a wallop. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Just wallop. Okay, and again, and again. Right, okay, now if you take your wire and then trim that excess off now. What was the reason for that, doing that in two parts? What you generally do, when you when you do that, you, uh, you're compacting that area. Sometimes if you've got a tile that's got nibs on, a traditional uh, tile that you see nibs on, yeah. uh, you've got to put that excess clay in there by slamming it down. You've got to oh. force it into that oh, mold. Oh, because you've got extra material <coughs> yeah. to send. That but you're because this is a peg tile, it's, it's, mm. you're just basically forming that end. You're just okay. doing it. Okay. It's a traditional. So I slam it down again. Another one. Yeah. Right, and you see, it's formed the square holes. Yeah. yeah. Um, and that's where they're saying you can't put a round peg through a square hole. I think you can. Yeah. But you can't. No, but you so... can't put a square peg through a round hole. Oh, not a square. Yeah, so that's peg, it. Yeah. I was just testing you. Yeah. So you can see Kima there. You know, that's yeah, obviously okay, our name. Yeah. And we've got a couple of dots and dashes. Yeah. Essentially, that's like a binary code. So we know when it was made. Oh, so there's a batch it. number. That's a, that's that's a batch. Oh, so what okay. you're going to do now, yeah. you're going to actually slap your hand in, into the. Okay. And the idea of doing that, it just loosens it out the mould a bit. Because it's oh, quite a sticky so it's clay. So it's my signature then? It is it, your signature okay. because it's got your fingerprints in it, it's your handprint, you know exactly who ah. made it. So if you pick that up and show it to the camera, and you can see the tile, and you can see the impression that you've made in there. And if you put it on the wooden board, yep. you just leave it to dry, and essentially uh, three or four days just drying on there, we, we don't do anything special to it, just leave it to dry. Good weather, warm weather like this, it'll dry within, you know, those three to five days, and okay. within a week, ten days, it's been in a kiln. That's ready for out. the kiln. In, in and when it comes day. out the kiln, yeah. it would look like that. Oh. Okay. And if you actually put that tile over the top of the, the wet tile, there should be inside. And you can should see there, the shrinkage, the shrinkage yeah. yeah. So you can see oh, how much it's shrunk. Incredible. That's the what amount of water that's in the, in right. the clay. So what percentage it shrinks? It might be about 20%. So you have to allow 20% yeah. shrinkage. Yeah, in the it's water. various what you make. Sometimes it's 12 up to 20% of shrinkage that you, you have to allow. So we have to okay. over engineer something, make it bigger, and calculate Good. to make it smaller. So do you think this could be my day job? You could. You Am I going to be paid by the user or by the No, user? you'll be. It's, it's an hourly rate. Uh, you know, rate. You, okay. That's what you do. So we don't do piece rate now really. and, and get people work the socks off essentially. Um, you know, which they would have done because they yeah. would have started first light, yeah. the last light. Yeah. They would have worked 14, 16 hours a day. Some, From what age would you say? Oh, they do. In 
A ages gone back, the children would have been working, the factory okay. would have been making, you know, okay, yeah. the mum would have been working, the dad would have been, would have been a family of fun. Yep. Um, but nowadays it's big on wages. Obviously, kids have to go to school now, which is, uh, you know, yeah. it's good, get an education. But we do have a lot of children who try this, they love it, they'd love to do it when yeah. they're old. So, yeah, you, know, you never know. It's nice on the hands. It's it is, on the it's hands. I mean, I've got really nice hands yeah. and yeah. it's good for your skin. Yeah. It's a natural material, you know, it's yeah. all recycled wherever we go. Okay. It's always there, good. you know, so it's very green in that respect. Fantastic. It's all right, no problem. Much, all right. Really good. I well done, Joe. You yeah, know. I'll, uh, I'll give you my details right. and uh, no doubt you'll, you'll in employ me for, for what? A week? Two weeks? Yeah, we'll see, how, see how long you last. Yeah. Right, okay. I mean, we'll give you a trial, you know. <laughs> Thanks so much. Right, no Thank problem. You. Thanks. Thanks. Bye.